Hello everyone, it is I, Pioneer, with another Monica review. This time, we're doing another Intrigate kit, this being the new Gundam from Momsu Gundam, Charles Counterattack, piloted by the legendary Amaro Array. This right here is one of the three entry grades, or three base entry grades that we have at the moment. Also doesn't technically have a variant at the moment, sadly. I'm pretty sure we'll probably get a high new entry grade later down the line, but we'll see about that. But this right here is one of the three main entry grades that we get. The other two being the entry grade RX-78 and the entry grade Strike. Now, granted, both the Strike and Grandpa have multiple variants, with the Grandpa being having the American version, which is a Target exclusive, well, kind of. And then the Law Gundam, which is uh, based on the RX-78. And then with the Strike having two variants, one of them being the Strike Rouge, and the other one being the Build Exceed Galaxy that I reviewed a while back. But was out of the way, let's go with everything the entry grade new Gundam comes with. And we're back and this is everything the entry grade new Gundam comes with, which isn't really a lot. All it comes with is regular beam rifle, the new Gundam's beam rifle, which is actually pretty detailed, uh, which was the entry grades. I was expecting them to be a little less eh, detailed, but actually they're pretty detailed. You can see right here, entry grade new Gundam sh uh, rifle. Let me try to get the camera to focus on this right here. Ah, oh, you can see right there, focus pretty well. Detail work is fine. It's in two uh, color pieces, so it's not just full blend as you would see with most of them. It's just got some color separation, which is pretty nice. Then you got the beam saber, well, the one beam saber. We'll talk about the other one that technically does come with this. Uh, it's a little bit more detailed. It does have a hinge right here, which you can see right here. Uh, it does have a movable piece right here. It's actually in technically two pieces right here where you separate uh, a little bit right here. So it's three pieces in all. Overall, not bad. Sadly, it doesn't come with a beam saber blade. Then we got the shield right here, which is basically just two pieces, which is basically the front, the white part of the shield with the back side right here, which has the connector piece right here, which is a different attachment right here that you stick onto it. And missiles right there, and, they can, and the beam rifle, if, for those who do not know. The shield also counts as a beam gun with four missiles. But that's pretty much it. Uh, you got to paint and color these, which I haven't done with mines at all. And like I said, it was that false. Uh, beam saber, well, these technically third beams are for those who know, you got them technically as a beam saber on its left arm right here. I can see right here, but sadly this is a false, uh, prop right here. It has this thing right here. It's not meant to come out, which I'm kind of, which I'm kind of disappointed. Bandai cheaping on this. So let me show you what I mean. This isn't like real, it's just for decoration, which is kind of sad right here. I can see right there. That's all it is. Uh... That's all it is. This thing cannot come out at all. This is a just a false prop. Technically speaking, if I wanted to, I could mod this. Like, cut this out and just actually add an actual beam saber in here. Which I probably could. Cut this out and just make it into an actual beam saber. Uh, that's effort that I'm right now in the right now I'm not in the mood for. But I can possibly do it. And any, any skilled builder could probably do it too. Uh, but this is the one disappointment. Because in the high grade versions of the new Gundam, it has... The second beam there, which is kind of a disappointment that this one doesn't. But, you know, that's Bandai uh, trying to keep everything cheap. Uh, with this overall, that's everything the new gun comes with. Technically speaking, there is some option set parts, which Bandai loves to give to us right now. Uh, that does come with the extra parts for those who uh, those who do not know. As the new gun is missing its fin funnels, plus the rocket launcher. Plus, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that option set also comes with beam sabers as well. And maybe an extra beam blade. I'm not too sure I have to go look up, look look that up. But that's a separate option set, which for the entry grade, it's like, it's fine. These entry grades are meant to be cheap and all that. Uh, but yeah, overall, the kit itself is actually pretty nice. It's actually probably one of the more detailed kits. I should kind of do like, which is a happy thing because I've been wanting Ben to like do a revive on the old new gunner for like a long time. A lot of detail work, a lot of color separation, a lot of pieces separation too. Which in the older kits would either be stickers right here, or all in one color and you would have to paint it. Sometimes it would not have to be, but on the older on the older kits, especially the ones from Charles Contact and whatnot, they kinda need it. The new Gundam actually comes with the head kinda separates itself. I can see right here. Multiple pieces right there. For the eyes are the eyes no longer stickers, they're actually their own color separation. It's actually what I kind of like a little bit about the intergrades. 
that they have way more uh, piece separation instead of having to use stickers or whatnot, which is a little bit jealously. Overall, it's actually pretty nice. And and in, in the finished product, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, the integrate itself, overall, there are some aspects in the integrates that kind of like I I like I kind of don't like. Uh, I hate band. I kind of put going back to the old ball joint system. Though I will say where I criticize the entry grade uh, Bill Strike Galaxy Cosmos uh, on its ball joints being a little bit more loose. The entry grade new gums a little bit better, at least, at least, and that's just saying it. Uh, the legs are on clip ons and everything on the entry grade are on clip on C clips. So sometimes the hinges and the joints are might be a little bit loose if you play with a little bit too much. But overall, the kits are actually perfectly fine. The color separation is great. Overall you, overall, you really don't need to do anything as much for this. But yeah. But that is with the accessories and a little bit overview of the new Gundam, how it looks. So I'm a little bit a little bit sad because uh, with the Intrigate Strike, it does have separation for the Vulcans. This doesn't. It just has like uh, molded in there. But now going from the accessories, now let's go with the articulation of the Intrigate new Gundam. And now we're back and let's go with the articulation of this kit. Going from the head itself back... Looking at this, it's able to go 360. So I will, though I will say this thing's a little bit more sturdier. I compare it to a lot of these as there's no poly caps at all in this kit. It's all plastic on plastic, so it's gonna be much more uh, uh, sturdier and much more like tough to like move around and stuff, which is good if you want your kits not to be uh, very loose and whatnot, which just happens with poly caps. But sometimes there are some things poly caps kind of do a little bit better. This kind of does a little bit fine. The arm right here is on a bow joint socket right here. So it's plastic on plastic like you see right there. Some people like it. Some people don't. I'm pretty fine with this. The only grab I have with almost any kit is when they use C-clips because repairing those are hassle. Unless you have like the right tools and whatnot. But back then, also this thing. Though I will I will give some of the intergrades, which I kind of been wanting back. Is that these pieces actually do come off. So now the shoulder piece actually does come off. So in case you want to do like diorama or whatnot with like battle damage, it can come off. So you can do that, which is the good thing about this. So it's like 50-50 about that overall. Uh, put this back. I'm able to spin. No problem at all. Go all the way up. That's actually pretty nice. All the way down. No problem at all. Could adjust itself with no problem at all. The arm right here, since we kind of already took it off. Can spin it around with no problem at all. It's got a single joint. I'm pretty sure it's a single joint. It's not a double joint. So a little bit on some people probably say on the sad side since most kits, not most, some most general kits are double jointed, so it would go a little bit further. But you know what? That's fine. And right here is able to spin around, no problem at all. Like I have the false uh, false prop right there. Overall, not bad. All the cost separation right there. A lot of little details right there. Which is pretty nice when it comes to compared to the kit. It's actually pretty not bad at all. It's looking good. Like the little detail right here. Like this right here will all be white. You would probably have to color that in. Uh, but yeah, that's the inside of the in, in your inner piece right there where the joints at. So that's a pretty nice detail work, which I do like. Some stuff you're still probably going to have to paint. Like right here, the center right here should be green. I don't remember if this came with sticker or whatnot. I'm pretty sure it didn't. I'm pretty sure this kit did not come with stickers at all. It's all built in and whatnot, so this, you're probably going to have the sensor right here, which should be green. You're going to have paint it green, which I do have emerald metallic. I'll probably paint that later. I go with that. This guy right here can spin around. So it's been a while since I've done it. This It's a little bit, sometimes it might be a little bit blocky because of the, how the skirts is. It does have ab joints, so it can move around, so no problem at all. Uh, can I do this without, oh, right here. So it does have the ab joint right here, which can move around left and right. You can see right there. The ab joint can move around, no problem at all. This thing right here is in the old block joint, which a lot of the older UC kits used to have this. I remember Unicorn actually does have this. The old Unicorn high grades. So Bandai kind of going back to some older styles. But hey, it does have an ab joint, which is a good thing about this kit. Then the front skirt. Oh, actually, no, wait, no, not this one. Oh, that's sad. I was, I was going to say, it's like, this thing has butt flaps, but never mind. Wrong model kit that I was thinking about, but if I wanted to, I can cut through here and actually make this the butt flaps, but that's a little modification. 
it's a little bit more advanced for some people, so. But overall, butt flat. The front butt flat does move around. The side skirt ones do kind of move around as well. These are only kind of like bowl joints a little bit right here. I can see right here. Let me try to take this off. Like, little bowl joints instead of the how normal high grades are. That's not bad. Back, back, back right there. You got a clip. And like I said before, these are on bowl joints, which though I will say these are better than the Built Strikes Galaxy entry grade bowl joints because they don't pop out every once in a while. Can only go all the way here because sadly they're on bowl joints. So if you do want to do modifications for yours, I'm going to back to how most high grades are. You can, but that's some modification joints that you're probably going to need, but you probably do that with no problem at all. Like, let me show you the leg. Stand right there, please. Can he stand? Can he stand by himself? He's doing the pose. He might be able to. Ooh. Wow, on one leg. I was impressed. So if you do want to do modifications later, it's actually pretty easy. I'll probably show this on my uh, modifying my entry grade strike. Just grab jo some joints from your other kits that if you have extra parts, extra spare parts on joints and whatnot, like joints. You probably just swap this. You could probably swap this out, put another one in there, sock it in there. Might do some um, putty or some paint right there to like keep it in there. But overall, you're able to swap out pretty easy and just modify where the ball joints either cut these out make them to stick joints which i did also do a video about that too and now we ruined oh no he's still standing i'm actually impressed one-legged gundams are always impressive now going from the leg right here you can see right here how beautifully it is the detail works actually pretty nice i really do like the like the dark blue black on the legs and whatnot it's just actually it's, it's a variant of black or dark blue i'm not pretty sure but this thing right here has technically double joint. It's like, it's weird. It's like, it's kind of double jointed because it's got the one joint right here with the legs right here. Then it's able to spin right here where these, where this part is right here. You can see right there. So I'm not too sure I'd call this half, like double, like a joint and a half, double joint. Yeah, you know, I'll call it double joint for the meantime. Somebody... So otherwise, it's not double jointed. Just say in the comment section. I'll, I would appreciate it. Sometimes not knowing what something is is always something here. Then on the leg, because we've had this pop off already, it would move back and forth. Down a C clip right here. I feel like it's a mistake on them because yes, it's easy to put on and for beginners and whatnot, it's pretty easy for them. Considering instead of doing ball joints or uh, stick joints on the legs. Able to back and forth, they it's able to go side by side, so no problem at all. Back and forth, no problem at all. And it's able to almost spin. Just a little it's almost able to spin spin. Oh hey, there we go. I got the I got the spin. Just had to get it out a little bit. Overall not pretty bad. Articulation for this kid's pretty good. I'm actually surprised it was able to do uh what's it called? The one Legs then they're overall pretty nice. Our for this kit is pretty good and the detail work is pretty great. I actually do love it. The new Gundam is one of my favorite kits. And one of my favorite Gundams of all time. If anything else out of all the Armor Ray mobile suits that Armor Ray has piloted, the new is probably my favorite out of all of them. But now let's go with size comparison with other kits and figures that I have around. So the new Gundam is actually pretty tall. So let's go and compare with my two other entry grades. So right here we have my entry grade uh, Bill Strike Galaxy Cops. Exceed Galaxy Cops. Whatever name uh, it is. And then the entry grade American Gundam from Target. Uh, you can see right here. The entry grade new is very tall. And compared to most Gump Gundams out there. The new Gundam is actually pretty tall. Comparing it to the Zonda being some of the other Xeon machines. It's actually, probably one it's actually pretty tall. Going from my entry grade kids, we go with some new variants. Here with my fake new right here from the Bill Divers uh, season end. And then my, oh, going from the shelving, and going from my shelves, I'm gonna be honest, my real grade new Gundam, who has been up on my shelves for a long time, so, it, ignore the dust he's been up there for like a while he is pretty tall and a little bit lumpy because what's called he's been on that shelf for like a long time so he, 
you might be a little bit top heavy from the backside. Actually, right here, my my real great new Gundam, my fake high new, or my fake new Gundam from Bill from uh, Bill Diver Three Rise. As technically, I don't have a high great new. Sadly, never got around it. I ended up getting the real great new first. But overall, it's still pretty tall. Actually, uh, is the RG a little bit taller, or are they the same size? I might say you know no, they're the same size. And then going from these guys right here, uh, put a new Gundam over here for the meantime because that's a little bit big. I have, let's go with something very huge. One second. This one is going to be a big one. This is actually what I considered master grade size. I might do a review. And I might do a review of this later down the line. My cashier from Gundam Unicorn. This thing right here is a big chunky girl. Oh, crap. And a little bit floppy. Like I need to tighten up the joints for this. But the Kestrua is actually pretty big. So base unit, Kestrua and, and the entry gun unit gun are kind of almost similar. The V fin for the Kestrua might be the only thing I may make taller and the binders make it probably bigger. And then let's uh, do another size comparison. Where's my, oh, currently my only master grade because I still haven't built the other ones yet. Like I said, I'm I'm backlog my backlog. We have my master grade Alex, the better model kit, and I'm kind of glad about getting this. So right here, now the master grade Alex is technically bigger, as it is one 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 hundreds. That's mass, all master grades are one one hundreds, while the entry grade, high grade, and real grades are one forty four skill. Still, comparably to when it comes to like other Gundams. Now let's bring back, well, technically not bring it back, but let's uh, bring my Revive RX Emery He here to go with the analysis right here with the regular high grade being around like five, six uh, inches right here as normal kits. The entry grade new, ooh, sorry about that camera wise, the entry grade new is a little bit taller being like around uh, maybe six to eight inches. I got to get a measuring tape. Or a ruler. I maybe mean, need to have one. And the massacre probably being bigger than all of them, between ten to almost a foot, or eight to ten inches. Okay. And we're back. And this right here is the going to be the end of the review. Overall, uh, the Integrate New is a really great model kit. I recommend. I recommend getting it. And we do get it on the shelves. It's actually a pretty good starter kit right here. If you don't like the uh, design of the entry of the Integrate Grandpa. Or the strike, the new gun right here is actually a pretty great design for those uh, coming into the hobby. Uh, the only thing I will say that it's going to be light. So if you do buy this, I do recommend pairing it with the option set with the new Gundam with weaponry, as it will make the whole kit complete. As you saw with my real great new Gundam, the only thing I think it will be missing is the beam saber. So I don't know if the uh, option set pack does have it. So right here, I'm kind of using a temporary beam saber that does not fit. I did try finding one but my god that thing does not take any of the regular beam savers that i have at all which i am surprised which kind of makes that it's kind of blunder bad nice part for not being able to do that overall it was a great model kit i do recommend it i think this thing was around 10 to 15 bucks um price wise i'm not too sure but overall it's actually a pretty good model kit uh but was out of the way if you like the video please leave like comment subscribe i always appreciate it and as always, have a good day, folks. This is Pirate Arden signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.